So you guys are probably about tired of seeing things about my uh, mini ITX Ryzen system, but this little mod actually helped me lower the temperatures of my CPU at full load for an extended period of time by about 35 degrees Celsius. And the best part of it is, if you are using the Node 202 like I am, and you have either a Ryzen 1700 or a 1600 or even a 1500X, you actually probably already have the parts necessary to do this mod and lower those CPU temperatures by a lot, which by the way, gives you more overclocking headroom. And I'm gonna show you how to do just that. So the secret sauce to this little mod is actually the stock cooler that comes with the Ryzen 7 1700, the Ryzen 5 1500X, and the Ryzen 5 1600, and that would be the Wraith Spire cooler, not the Stealth cooler. Now the maximum CPU cooler height in a Node 202 is about 57 millimeters, and because of largely this fan that's included with the Wraith Spire, the Wraith Spire cooler is actually quite a bit too tall, but the heatsink part alone without the fan only only comes in at about 40 millimeters high, which still gives you about 17 millimeters of clearance for a low profile fan. Now, if you're like me and you realize that the stock cooler will not fit in a Node 202, you probably ordered a low profile fan. In my case, uh, for my CPU, I ordered the Cryoreg C7. Now, here's the interesting part, and this was purely accidental. The fan on the C7 is actually the same size, at least the mounting points are the same size, as the Wraith Spire's original fan. So uh, you can probably see where we're gonna go with this. We're swapping out the Wraith Spire uh, Cooler Master fan, which by the way, in case you've never looked below it, is actually Cooler Master. And we are putting on the C7's uh, fan. However, this does require a very small mod and it's actually a very easy one to do and it's safe. And the best part is if you wanna swap back eventually, you can still put that uh, fan back on the C7. It's not a permanent mod that destroys the integrity of the fan. So we can see this mod in action here, and I apologize because I'm going to go handheld for this. Um, but the fan on the uh, Spire cooler right now, which you can sort of tell is the Spire just based on the, um, the height here of the actual heatsink part of the cooler, is the cooler from the uh, C7 here. Now, the mounting mechanism normally for the C7 is on the side of so see here on the side here we have ridges on this fan that just hook over the lip of the C7's heatsink and it just clips on. There's no there's no screws there at all. However, obviously we can't use that mounting mechanism with the Spire cooler. That being said, on each corner is a little just sort of rubber piece that is meant to dampen sound. Uh, and vibration from the fan to make it a little bit more bearable to keep things a little quieter. What I found was when you take those off, there's indentions in the plastic of the fan where there would normally be a uh, screw hole, but they did not completely cut it out. So all I did was I took a very small drill bit and drilled that through, which lined up perfectly with the mounting mechanism or the mounting points rather for the Spire's cooler, which you can sort of see just in there, that screw lines up perfectly, as do the other four. So once I drilled those out, it was just a matter of mounting the fan onto the heatsink. Now, I will save you a little bit of time with one other part. You'll notice the fan overhangs the, uh, the mounting screw for the actual heatsink to the backplate on the motherboard. So what you have to do is mount the heatsink first, and then put on the fan, and voila, you then have a Spire cooler, a Wraith Spire with a C7 fan on it. You'll see it just sort of barely fits in under the top of the lip there of that uh, case, which does allow you to uh, put the top of the case on and run it in this, in really any configuration, vertical or horizontal, without compromising the fan, and it will still spin freely. So as we see here, the test, or these, at least this stress test right now, has been running for about 20 minutes. And you'll also notice that the temperature up there is just flatlined at 50 degrees Celsius. 
Now compared to the 85 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Celsius that I was seeing with the uh, Cryorig C7 in its just normal stock configuration, this is a gigantic gain in temperatures and makes me a lot more comfortable running this processor in this case at full bore um, for an extended period of time. And that's important if you're planning on using a smaller profile case like this for something like video rendering or video editing because that processor is gonna be worked a lot more heavily when you do something that's extremely multi-threaded and runs for an extended period of time like this. So 50 degrees Celsius over uh, 85 or 86 degrees Celsius is a humongous uh, temperature gain for this little mod. So that is really it for this mod. Um, it was just sort of quick, but I felt like it deserved its own little video just because it dropped my temperatures by so much. And if you're somebody like me that has the Node 202, you probably bought a uh, small profile or a low profile cooler to go in that case. And using the parts from my C7 and the cooler that was already included in the box for the processor, I was able to uh, basically make a new cooler that was uh, quieter than the C7 because the fan is running at a lower speed and also delivers just so much better performance um, in the form of cooling than does the C7 in this particular case. So for those of you that are also a fan of Bitwit, and I already tweeted this out to him, but maybe you should give him a shout out over there because we also know from his video that he also used the C7 for his case. And since I believe he's using a 1700 in his Note 202, he should actually already have the Spire Cooler as well. So I'd be curious to see if he actually tries this out himself. But regardless of all that, guys, if if you like this video give me a like share subscribe comment down below tell me what you think of this little modification or if you have other ideas for lowering the temperatures within a small form factor case specifically the no 202 you can follow me on twitter and on instagram at hoodra hardware they are the same tag for your convenience and by the way guys another shameless plug if you followed me there you probably already saw um, this little modification in action and finally we'll let youtube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch i'm shane with hoodra hardware and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.